Bazaar Club, you all know me, so there's no, I don't, there's no introductions, you all know me. Um, so um, I'm going to introduce our uh, first district governor, uh, my Sandra. Nice. Hi everybody, yeah, you know me too, but she doesn't, not that much. Uh, so I have an hour, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm first Vice District Governor Sandra, and I've really enjoyed so far the amount of time I've been able to spend with our governor, going to the different clubs and so forth, learning a lot in my trainings and all that goes with becoming a governor. So it's at this time I'd like everyone to please stand and welcome our District Governor, Stephen Morgan. Thank you all. Please be seated. And I'm going to come over here. Um, I will get closer, so you can attempt to throw things at me if you wish, but I am a moving target, so I'll still keep it challenging. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a retired air traffic controller. I worked 33 years. I retired in March, and I purposely retired or was worked my way to be a governor because I wanted to be retired to put more time into the job, okay? I also am a 17-year council member in the city of Ridgecrest, also retired, three years as mayor. I also spent time on the planning commission. I'm a 22-year lion, and I am your district governor this year. The thing about me, I'm pretty blunt, to the point, usually do not repeat myself. I say it once and I move on. Now that's my air traffic controller coming out. It doesn't always work in public, but we'll see how it works tonight, okay? So I'm here to talk to you about our district and our Alliance International. I'm gonna start with the International. Our International President has utilized the phrase, the power of we, us. Lions, not only lions in a club, lions in a zone, in a region, in a district, in an area, and lions internationally. It's all about our working together, the power of we. Myself, I stole the United States Navy Air Traffic Controllers Creed of pride and professionalism. Pride in being a lion but also a lion's pride is their family. So it works both ways. We are a family and need to be proud of our working together and then proud of the service that we do. That's one. Professionalism does not mean you have to always dress in a suit and tie. It means that we do our job our service to the best of our abilities and we do it with a smile on our face and we do it because we love helping others that's what i mean by professionalism and that fits in with the international president's message and as we all know the lion's motto simply we serve very simple very basic and it has worked for a hundred years very well for our organization. And now we have stepped into the 101st year of Lions. And what does that mean? Mostly that means as an organization we are constantly changing, but most of us don't notice it. Well now the change is coming more openly and abruptly. We are into the computer age. We are into the cell phone age. We are into Facebook. We are into Twitter as a society. And Lions has to move with it. If we don't, we do not gain the favor of the younger individuals who are out there in the business world 
They will not join us. And to keep our international association moving forward, we need those younger people. So, Lions International has come out and said, you don't have to come to every Lions meeting. That's a major change in Lions International. But, if you can come to a meeting, you should, and you should always volunteer for every project that Lions has. So how do we do that? One of the things I have been talking about at every club, slightly different ways, but in every club, is communication. If we do not communicate effectively within our group, we don't get the people to the projects that we want to serve our public. So, email, snail mail if necessary, something called a telephone, it still works. It may have a computer with it, but it's still a telephone. Email, a Facebook page if your club has one, Twitter. <laughs> All manners of communication need to be looked at and understood by every club, by every zone, by every region, district, and up. We have to use them all. Now, that doesn't mean that Ron here has to learn them all. It's not what I'm saying. Use one of them and use it continually. If you need information on the phone for all projects, you need to make sure your president and your secretary understand that. That is your primary method of communication. And that's what you should be getting. And if somebody wants it on their cell phone, an email, or Facebook, that's where we need to get that information. As long as we all get the information, does it really matter how you get it? No. Okay? So, one of the things that we have done in the district to try and better communicate with you is we've reconstituted the district newsletter. Now, for those of you who haven't seen it, it is electronic. It is not printed by us. However, it is put onto the district webpage. So somebody in this club is pretty good with a computer. Print one of these and bring it to a club meeting for those that don't compute very well. Or download it and send it via email. It's available. You have to use it, though. We do not have a large enough budget in our district to pay for postage to send these out. So it's on the club to get this to the membership. Okay? But it is available on the district website. Another item on the district website is the district calendar. On our webpage, there is a calendar. And any lion who can compute can go into that calendar, click on a month, open it up, and see what's going on in our district. And outside of our district, any lion can go into that calendar and put information. You click on a date, you put it in, and everybody else will be able to see it. Valuable tool. So presidents and secretaries need to be especially cognizant of that calendar and bring that information to the club members just in case there is a club member that doesn't go to the computer calendar. So all of your projects for the Athens Lions Club should be on the calendar. Every one of them. And all of the other clubs in Desert Zone A, Desert Zone B, 
the Sierra, the Metro, the Valley. I have been stressing everyone needs to put their projects on that <laughs> calendar. Couple of reasons. If we're interested in a project from another club, we may not necessarily go to it, but we can call them, we can have them come to our club and discuss that project. And if we learn and like it, maybe we can adopt it and help further our service. Okay, very important. Communication throughout the district. And for your cabinet, specifically, putting your projects on that calendar helps us know or try to be places. I've told the cabinet that we need to be more available, more accessible. We need to be out there more. But we can't be out there if you aren't telling us what you're doing. I'm not clairvoyant. I never have been. But I can be an individual who, with knowledge, puts forward a good foot to help. I hope that in my time in, at, in this district, as a, just a lion in Ridgecrest, I have shown that to you, lions, and I hope that as I've been moving up, that you know that I'm a person, I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. Very clear. So a couple other things that I have for you, and I'm going to give this to your president. We have a new foundation in California. Started last year. Very important for us to know. It's called the California Lions Foundation. Very simple. And it simply is a foundation that was created by California for California. So we're raising money now and we're asking for donations for this foundation. When this foundation reaches a benchmark of $250,000 in the bank, they will start then putting out information and processing grant requests, California only. And it won't be as onerous as Lions Clubs International for very good reasons. Lions Clubs International has grants that start at $10,000, huge projects, because they're thinking globally. Well, let's say that Acton wants to help with some medical equipment at hospital in the area. Well, you're not going to go for $10,000, but maybe you'll go for $2,000. The California Lions Foundation will grant funds $500 up to $10,000. So we have filled a hole in our charitable foundation that we didn't have before. Now this is just for California, okay? Other states will probably catch on and may end up doing the same thing. That's fine. As a matter of fact, we're going to promote this foundation to the other, 50, to other 49 states. Why? Because it's people helping people. The more that we have available to us, the better we can do. The more hands that we have in membership, the better we're able to serve. Now, First Vice District Governor Sandra and I have been talking about attempting to reconstitute the Aqua Dulce Lions Club. That's going to take some real effort. Now, I need your help here in Act. Number one, I need to be able to have 
members of this club be willing to understand what we're doing. We are not taking away from what Acton is doing. We are simply adding back to what Agua Dulce can have. And then Agua Dulce and Acton can work together on certain projects for this area. We're increasing our level of service, folks. Now, I've asked clubs throughout the district to look Santa Clarita. I asked Castaic to look at Santa Clarita, uh, to look at Canyon Country. Um, we have a club in Lancaster again, for those of you who don't know. Unfortunately, it's a very small, struggling club. They have just gotten a location in Quartz Hill to meet. So now we can focus on maybe some membership from Quartz Hill. We used to have a club in Quartz Hill. We used to have a club in Little Rock. We used to have a club in Pear Blossom Foothill. We used to have a club in Bridgeport. We used to have a, a club blank, 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 blank. Well, our trend, unfortunately for our district, has been a downward slide for many years. <coughs> if you don't know, our district sits at 844 members right now. 844. We need to work on that as a team, not only individual clubs, but with zones, regions, myself, and the cabinet. I am pledging that we will help you if you want to have a new member night, if you want to have a Lions Information Night, if you want to have a project where you just, maybe you go out in the park and have an open picnic, invite the community. The last time I was with you, we met at the park, and you had two individuals come to that who were not lions. Oh, well, I haven't seen them yet in the club. But they were there. The opportunity was there. The success of that event, I encourage you to do again. It was a successful event in my mind because you did have the community, and maybe it was only two, but that's two more that you got the word out to. So I talked to you before about the trifold. I know you guys are tired of hearing about that from me. I still want you to create one. Here's the, here's the Ridgecrest Lions trifold in the packet that I'm gonna give your club president. Every project, you should have a trifold explaining who you are, what you do, and a contact point. And maybe, just maybe, someone will not only pick one up, but will actually call and say, you know, I'd like to learn a little more. Key. It's key. Our publicity, so to speak, in our communities is not something that we promote, right? We're not like other cl clubs and organizations where it's more important to get your name and face in the paper than it is the actual service that you do. I'm not recommending that we change that. As a matter of fact, I would hate it if we did. But community calendar, any chambers of commerce, calendars, anything where you can put your meeting date and time for free because all local newspapers, all radio stations have community minutes. You can utilize them. I suggest you do. Every means of communication you can. Okay? So, I also have the rose float decorating calendar for you here in case you can go down and you would like to help put flowers on the float. Uh, it is a different location so you have to go to the site. I believe it's in Irwindale. Mm -hmm. So um, we will again of course have a float and of course we need volunteers to help put the flower, the finishing touches on it. Um, let's see if there's anything else. 
I really need to touch on. Student Speakers Contest, you have your packet for your club. Virginia has her packet for the zone. She has it. I have it. I gave it to her. I handed it to her, Joanne. I swear to you. Now, if she hasn't shown it to you, go, go get her. Well, I might you interrupt you just a minute. I know I shouldn't. No, you're going to. John, I need you. We'll have to fit. Because he called and you are going to leave Palmdale and Lancaster's with us. And he will pick it up. Is got it? Already in her hand. All right. All right. All right. But you're right. John would have a fit if I didn't do it. See, I was told on my drive up here that someone would actually attend tonight and pick those up. He could not do it because Dodger did. No, just kidding. <laughs> Probably. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have a couple of cards here for the district newsletter editor. Uh, his name, he, we call him lovingly Eric. Right. His real name is Eufen, and don't, I'm not even going to try the last name. The nice right. young man from L.A. Vision. He has put this newsletter together, and it is a marvelous newsletter. In the next edition, which would be the November edition, I hope to have bios of our global leadership team and global membership team cabinet members, though they are past district governors, Eva and David Hedenbrand from Tashby, plus mm. some advice on how clubs can work with membership and leadership, but also an open invitation for you to invite them to come to your club and talk about membership, talk about leadership. I will tell you, as much as I am pushing our global membership and global leadership to be out in our district, if the club doesn't invite them, they're not going to come. I've told them, if a club doesn't invite you, maybe they don't want you. <clears throat> so I want them to come in with clubs that have a very good attitude and are willing to listen and work with them and hopefully expand the possibilities of leadership within the club and membership in the community for the club. Now, Sandra has reminded me we have a brand new position, and it is a brand new position. It's called the Global Service Team Member. Lion Lou Rivas from the Greater West Valley Club has agreed to take on her to have one. <laughs> I will be very honest and open with you. I did not appoint one because I did not understand the position. I was not going to put a name and a face in a position where I didn't know what they were doing and I was afraid they wouldn't do anything. I have confidence in Lion Lou. I've worked with him. I've talked to him before. He and I have had discussions. He's doing good things in the Greater West Valley Club. As a matter of fact, at my visitation for their club, I was talking about Lions. They had six guests in the audience. And at the end of my presentation, one of them kind of said, well, when can I be a Lion? And Lou looked at me and said, can you do something now? And I said, sure. I installed four people that night on the fly. On the fly. Sandra can do it. Connie can do it. Any cabinet. Virginia can do it. Any cabinet member. They all have the ability. If you bring people in and you get them really enthused, and they say, sure. Sign them up. Right then. You don't have to wait for me. You don't have to wait for Sandra. You don't have to wait for Virginia. But get someone to do a proper installation. Something that I haven't talked to my cabinet about, but I should. 
just dawned on me, every cabinet member should have the induction ceremony with them at all times. All times. Never waste an opportunity. So we're going to talk about that at our next go-to meeting. Um, the cabinet has been meeting every month. That is something new. We do it online or on the phone. It's called GoToMeeting. There are lots of sites out there that do this. I'm familiar with GoToMeeting. That's what we use. So every month we have a conversation. We talk about the district. We talk about what's going on. And if we have to get down into the club level, we'll do it. If there's a particular item that needs to be discussed, you all should never be afraid to contact your cabinet. You have an issue or an item that you want to discuss, call us. And if you think that I'm the only person in the world you can talk to, call me. I'm good with that. Now, I may not call you right back, depending upon where I'm at, what I'm doing, but I will return your call. I have uh, a couple of clubs in the LA area that are struggling. I've been down there twice already for each of those clubs. You're not as far. <laughs> and I don't have to get into LA. I kind of like that. So we're here to help. We're here to try and work with your club. We're going to talk more about this aqua dulce effort, okay? And at the same time, we need to talk about increasing the membership of Acton. I don't want to put in a club and have a club that's struggling. Either way, not going to happen. I would prefer, to be honest with you, and I've talked about this too, I would prefer creating a branch club, if we absolutely have to in Aqua Dulce, a branch club would actually report to Acton. Acton would be the parent club. They'd get five, six, seven, eight members, really, really gun-ho people in Aqua Dulce. They can attend your meetings if they wish. Any money they raise would go through your accounts, separate, of course. Okay? Here's the thing about branch club that's most important. You train them how to be lions. You train them what it means to be a director. You train them what it means to be a president, a vice president. You train them about our district. So when they're ready to fly, when they get up to 20 or 25 people, if they get there, they're ready to go. Lions helping lions. What a concept. Communication between the groups should work. It should, if we have willing participants. Okay? <coughs> so we're going to talk about that probably the next time I come to visit, informally, see where we can go. A club that will not help me with a close-by area that area probably will not get served, or we will not try to serve that area starting this year and building a club. If I don't have local support, why am I putting in this effort? I'm almost creating discord if I do that. I don't want to do that. So we're going to talk about those things. Do any of you have a question for me? If you don't have one tonight, if you didn't get a directory and you want one, I have a few extras, but everyone who wanted a directory should have already gotten it. Not everybody wants one. But if you want one, you don't have one, I got it. Well, my phone number is one of the first ones you'll see. Call me. With that, I'm done. I want to thank you for your time and your attention. I'm, I really do want to help. I've got, look, we've already run through July, 
August, September, and October. I have eight months left. Being a governor. Use me. I work for you. Always remember that. Yes, sir. Question about membership. Are we ever going to change our criteria for membership requirements? The, the way that Lions is supposed to work is if you have someone who has an interest in the organization, you bring them in to a meeting or a project. Clubs have the ability, if they wish, and if they have the financial means to do it, they can pay for a first year's dues for a new member. Or they could give a discount to a person who has financial difficulty for a year or two. If a club is financially strong, you can do it for more than that. If you're not financially strong, you can't do that. Let's be honest, okay? So, a person, in my opinion, Ron, who has an interest in our organization, who wants to help others, who necessarily can't make every meeting, but will attend the projects, and has the ability to pay their dues, or at least for a time, maybe get some support from the club to pay dues, they can be a member. There is no other criteria. Well, you know, we vote for people now. We have a sponsor for yes. new members. And then we have a voting where we vote them in. Yeah. Okay. I say that we eliminate that possibility. They don't need a sponsor except the club. Okay. A sponsor, as far as Lions International is concerned, and this comes down from them, a sponsor is a mentor. As long as we mentor our new Lions, just like I'm talking about a branch club, as long as we mentor them and we teach them how to be a Lion, and I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's true, we need new people to feel it right here. We have to get them here, not here. Once you're connected, passionately to our organization, you're going to be a lion for life. You're going to be a lion for life. As a family, we should help all of our new lions. And if this club decides, as a group, oh, Ron, if this club decides that you're not going to specifically make another lion a sponsor, and you decide it's going to be the responsibility of the entire club to be the sponsor, personally, I think that's great. Because now everybody has to contribute. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you do that as a club, Ron, if you guys decide to bring in all your membership and everybody gets a piece, of the mentorship pie to teach that new member, good on you. I'm okay with it. You'll never get me complaining about that because honestly, every new person we get in our organization should get the benefit of absolutely every lion in that club's heart and knowledge. Not anyone should be sitting on the sidelines. Now, there are times when people have to. We have lives. We have family. We all know what's been going on with Scott in Virginia. And we know that Scott had responsibilities elsewhere. And that is exactly where Scott should have been. Family, personal always comes first. And the rest of us, who sometimes have to do extra work at a project because a lion has a family emergency, has something else going on, 
we have to understand it. That becomes even more critical with our newer members that we hopefully are going to bring in. They have kids. If they're young enough, they have kids. And I'm telling you, they're going to be at their kids' soccer game. They're going to be at their kids' play. And they're not going to be at a Lions project. And the first lion that does, that does this, we're going to lose that in line. We're going to lose them that quick. They're not putting up with it. You told me that I had my family come first. And yet, I get this. They're gone. They're gone. And the worst thing about that, folks, is they go tell their friends. You haven't lost one person. We can't do it anymore. We can't do it anymore. Even I have modified my, the way I am in this run as a second and a first and a governor. Someone comes up to me. When I was a new lion and someone came up with a problem to me, this is what I did. That's exactly what I did. I've learned. I listen. And I ask questions. I go to other people and I try to gain some information. I talk to outside sources, and then I come back and I say, okay, tell me again, what about this? What do you think about this? If, if this were done this way, would that make a difference? Because if I don't get a group of lions, a club of lions, an individual lion, I need to get them to a point where they're saying yes. And it has to be from them. If I can bridge that gap between a problem and the word yes, now we have something to work on. Now we have constructive conversations. We have the ability to create and to move forward. I think I've demonstrated that in the past with some clients in our district. I don't know how successful I've been, but they didn't throw rocks at me at the end of the conversation. And mostly, I have not had to have a second conversation with a lion or a couple of lions because they've gotten to a point where they say yes, and then I say, go work on it. You're now agreeing. Go. I'm done. I'm out. We can do it. Do it with our individuals. We can do it with our community. We can do it with our clubs, our districts, our zones. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I really believe that. And probably not in this year. This district will probably stay about where it's at. But we're building. We're trying to put things in place for branch clubs. We're trying to put things in place for membership and leadership where we're saying yes. We're trying to build a program that will become successful. And if in Saunders' year as governor, we start increasing membership, Elsie, I won't give a damn, but I'll know I did my job. I'll have done my job. I'm okay with that. Okay? All right. I'm done. Thank you.
appreciation in the ice cream. Oh, and, Doc, and, let me get it over there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. From Acton Lions Club. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Oh. For those of you <laughs> Let's see. For those of you oh. who don't know, this you is uh, this depicts not only okay. an air traffic control tower, but also an air traffic control radar facility. That's the radar screen. That, so that's me all over. That Can't is beautiful. It. it really is beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you design this? Nice. Yes, I did. Wow. Yes, Very did. nice. trouble with it and I haven't been able to help him yet he has steadfastly worked on this directory online like a real trooper so for that mm -hmm. plus being president I have for you wow. my, my district governor coffee mug oh, my great. pin Thank and you. oh this is great and I am giving you one of the international presidents, I'm giving you this pin. Okay. I have very few of these, Doc. But you have shown, with your work ethic, you have shown that. So I know you won't keep it on your jacket. Well, but I guess we could put it here. For now, oh, I'll put the it here. international governor's uh, president. This is the now. international president's pin. I'm not in your way, am I? No. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Joanne, Very nice. you're the secretary, right? right? Let me get you. Guess what you get? So, this is my cup. I can take it to one. Oh, I like that. Wow. Yeah, love it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. 